wouldn't be the strongest right now, but he certainly slumped there. Jordan goes in for a dunk, and he jams it over JB. You just have to come. You just have to come. 2.5 seconds. Jordan again. Yeah. Ahead for Michael. Into the front foot. Behind his back comes left wing. Now down the lane. All the way for the two hand slam. Thank you, Carl Armstrong, right back. The Bulls can go up 14. Jordan past Petrovic. Wow! He's steal. He kept it in bounds. Here it is again. Oh! Jordan trying to shake Hello. off Starks. Oh, what a move by Jordan! To Levingston. Jordan. Oh! A spectacular! Putting moves on Russell. We're down to two. Now to one. Here's Jordan. Yes! Zellers has Jordan. Jordan with two seconds to go, puts it up, and scores at the buzzer. Six. Jordan, open. What's up, YouTube? It's Drew, and I'm back with another video. Take on my show with a big body banger. Today, we're coming at y'all with an NBA 2K24 video. Now, first things first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna roll to 7K, and I'm saying today, I am the Bill Dilla on your local corner, and I'm coming at y'all with this Michael Jardine NBA 2K24 build video. Yes, sir. This was requested. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out. Like the video if y'all are watching. Y'all are definitely gonna like this vid and y'all are gonna like the face creation at the end. As always, I do both to complete the build. So just make sure y'all drop a like. I can't stress it enough. I'm about to make a rhyme. Drop a like, like lemon lime. Okay, that, that was cringy, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. But as you see right here, Michael Jordan, this is prime Michael Jordan to be specific. So this is old head, baldy, baldy Michael Jordan, baldy, baldy Michael Jordan. He got the bald powers on. So without further ado, let's get right into the ashes I used for this bald Jordan Bill video. Now, as you see, he is a shooting guard, six foot six, 195 pounds with a six foot 11 wingspan. All of these attributes are accurate from the height to the weight to the wingspan. As always, I try to keep my builds as accurate as possible, and this is no different right here. So with this build, you're going to see a lot of balance, but a lot of shooting acumen. And if you don't know what acumen means, it means skill. So let's get right into the attributes that I use for this Michael Jeffrey Jordan 2A24 build video. So as you see, it is a 60, it has a 62 uh, close shot, an 80 driving layup, an 89 driving dunk, an 85 post control, a 92 mid range, a 72 three point shot. You lead that free throw out of 57. Then you wanna put your pass accuracy up to a 60. You want an 84 ball handling. And then you wanna put your uh, speed with ball up to an 80 as well. And then for your defense, you want a 70 interior defense. I know I'm a little bit ahead of my video but 70 interior defense then you want an 85 perimeter defense and you also want an 85 steal and you might be wondering how i memorize all the attributes i don't know i just do it like nike but as you see with the uh, physicals then or rebounding you're gonna put 45 physicals you want an 81 speed then for your acceleration you want to put that up to a 78 for your strength you want it to be a 63 then for your vertical you want that at a 78 and then the rest towards your stamina and this is the michael jeffrey jordan nba 2k24 prime fit I don't even know what I was just saying there, but it's the best MJ build that you'll see on this app. So as you see, these are the attributes. I'm going to go over the badge spread, go over uh, you know all the badges that you can unlock with this build as always, because my attributes, no matter how weird the build is, will always be deliberate just so you can get badges. So as you see with the 80 driving layup, uh, it allows you to get that uh, Hall of Fame Pro Touch. It also gets you that, whole, uh, that Silver Fearless Finisher. Then for your driving dunk at an 89, it gets you the contact dunk packages, you know, pro contact dunk packages off one and two. That 85 post control gives you Hall of Fame post fade Phenom, which is essential with a MJ build because we, as we know, he popularized that, that fade. Then you want that uh, 92 mid-range shot to get you Hall of Fame Midi Magician. A 72-3 is just 
going to help you out, you know, because MJ was shooting a little bit at that time, just not to the likes of what people say. He had one great shooting year. Other than that, he wasn't really shooting threes. And now you see with the ball handling, you want the 84 to get silver blow by your spew of ball at 80. Just make sure that you're not moving in quicksand when you're also dribbling because spew of ball is important this year as well. Then for your uh, defense, your interior defense is a 70, so you don't get babied in the post. As you see, you wouldn't be able to get post lockdown at all, but you just don't want to be a baby. MJ never got babied in the post. Then for your, well, never is a stretch. Now, if you don't care about interior defense though, you could take 10 or 20 off of it and put it elsewhere, but I would recommend putting it to a 70 to make this build as versatile as possible, just so it represents MJ. Then you have an 85 perimeter defense to get you uh, silver clamps and an 85 steel to get you silver gloves, so you will be dominant on the defensive end. Then for your speed, it's a 81 to get you silver speed booster. Once again, very deliberate. Your acceleration is a 78, you know, because it's important to have acceleration. Your strength is a 63 to get the silver physical handles. Your vertical is a 78 to get those contact dunk packages. And then your stamina is a 95 so you don't gas out. MJ was playing 40 minutes a game during his career more often than not. And you see in the shades of, I get Jalen Brown, Jerry Stackhouse and Paul, Jizzy, George, as you see, PG-13 inside the arc score. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. But yeah, this build was very dynamic, very versatile. I was able to dunk, run, do what I needed to do, shoot the ball. The mid-range felt very smooth. I like, I'm a big fan of mid-range based builds. You know, I like real basketball, so I like playing with fundamental builds, which y'all will see in the coming weeks. But Fundamental builds are always the best for me, and but this build also has two-way capabilities. You could clamp up on defense, you could play in the post whenever you want, and you can just get a bucket whenever you need to and ISO. Now, as for the face creation, as you see, this is the Michael Jordan face creation. I know it looks great, doesn't it? Now you wanna use that first face that you see in the first row in the first column. Now I'm not gonna like walk you through the steps. I'm gonna let y'all look at it with y'all's eyes. Just pause the video and skip through it so you can uh, get the attributes down. But yeah, this is the MJ, the prime MJ face creation. So please enjoy but yeah let's talk about mj a little bit so on my list he is number two not because i think he was a bad player i just think lebron is better i know the biggest arguments are the six rings first and foremost rings are stupid because for one robert horry has seven rings and bill russell has 11 if you go by rings it doesn't make sense see because the ring comes down to the team like of course ai didn't win a ring but you can't just say he wasn't one of the greatest of all time you know like if you need a great team, so I hate the six rings and no losses argument because like a lot of it wasn't just because of him. If you know, Phil Jackson said that Scottie Pippen was a lot more important to those wins than MJ more often than not, you know? So, and that's Phil Jackson, probably the greatest coach of all time in the game of basketball, you know? So all I'm saying is nah, he might've been an MJ hater a little bit. Cause I think that was a little bit extreme. I think they both contributed, but obviously MJ had games where he played terribly in the finals. And then who was there? Scotty, who was there? Dennis, who was there? Steve Kerr, who was there? John Paxson, you know, so that can't be scoffed about, but still knowing all that, knowing my opinion, I do understand that MJ is one of the greatest of all time and ever like in any sport like simply athlete wise one of the greatest athletes of all time and that's hard to do out of all the sports you know for what he did the breaks that he took and then to come back and still be dominant you know granted lebron is doing it right now at like 40 but like you know nobody thought that mj could come back on the wizards and average 20 plus a game and he did it you know they were in like playoff contention and then MJ's body just died on him, you know? So that is interesting, but MJ will always be great to me. But that's where it's the end of the video, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna roll to 7 you know what I'm saying? Comment down below any bills y'all want, and I eventually get to them. But until then, I'm out. Peace.